In this video I will show my Orange Pi 5 uh, project, how I built a case for it. Uh, it is not a detailed instructions video, so if you have any questions leave comments down below. Enjoy the video. What you are seeing is a Yotta Master 5 bay HDD enclosure. Instead of installing 5 hard drives I used one of the bays to install the Orange Pi 5 single board computer. Now. Uh, the main thing what I did was uh, I'm using the SATA power adapter to power this single board computer. Uh, it takes uh, 5 volts which I apply directly to the GPIO pins and also the HDMI port was on the side so I used 90 degree angle. Now this setup works all good. Uh, the main benefit is also that I can just if I want to reboot uh, Orange Pi 5, then I can just pull it out a bit and push it back and this has reset the power. Until today all the cables came out from here and then one USB cable had to go to the back which hooks it up to all the hard drives. Now the Orange Pi 5 itself has a root file system on the uh, NVMe drive, you can see it in the bottom here. Uh, like this, so it's a half a terabyte. Then I also have another half a terabyte SSD. Then I have two six terabyte Western digital drives, these are mirrored. So I have hardware redundancy, and then I also have a four terabyte drive where I make backups of the root file system and also from the most important files from these 6 terabyte drives. I have an extra port back here. So This port I use for my wireless mouse. I'm not uh, fitting the mouse controller inside the case because the reception isn't the best. So here I can hook up a USB-C cable and this goes to a USB-C hub. Here I have my wireless mouse keyboard controller and here I also have my Zigbee controller because I'm running also home assistant. At the moment the cable comes from here and goes in here and it goes and also the network cable. So my thought was uh, to see if we can uh, create additional holes in the back and pass them in through the back. Uh, of course these cables I will not uh, make so that they connect and disconnect automatically when I push in. Uh, I'll just have to a bit loosen them from the back in order to get the computer out. I'm not planning to open this every day anyway so if you get the Orange Pi 5 I would recommend to get this heatsink from AliExpress. It was like 10 euros or something like that. I did not install the included fan because it's absolutely not necessary. Uh, this hard drive enclosure itself has a fan in the back which keeps the air moving. So uh, Before the cooler the temperatures reached 78 degrees which is a bit too high for my taste but after installing the cooler I have not seen more than 55 to 60 on high load. So if you look inside then in the upper part you can see maybe there is a little bit of space. I also bought this enclosure for like I think it was a hundred uh, something euros otherwise it uh, cost more but they had a problem before namely the fan was really loud so in order to replace the fan uh, you need to open up all the screws uh, except for these two here next to the power cord so all the rest you have to open up Now once you open these screws, the whole inside of it can fly out, so I wouldn't recommend to uh, move the entire enclosure, just leave it uh, flat like this on its face. With every, all the screws are removed, you can raise it up from here. There is some wires inside. <coughs> As you can see here are some power wires. I never disconnected these. However, here is just a regular 80mm fan inside. 
let's see. So this here was really easy to open. You just push it up and it opens. And here are some the same kind of torque screws that are to open this case from the outside. Now my plan is to create uh, additional holes somewhere here. If I take a network cable and try to pass it through, it will it won't fit. This HDMI cable will also not fit through here. Yeah, there is no way. So my idea is to take this whole thing out of here, put the cables in between here, and then uh, put the entire thing back together. So before I also said that put it on a flat surface. Now when I turn the back like this, then after unscrewing I can raise this entire thing off. I'll put all these cables uh, through the case like this and then put this entire case back together. Alright, in order to drill the needed holes I will disconnect these wires. Be sure to not mix them up once you're putting them back. So now I have the back plate open. When I turn around the Orange Pi 5 in here, then the reset button will be available in the bottom here. The board itself will have the USB and network slot on the left side. So this means I also want to put uh, the network and USB cable more from the left side and the HDMI cable from the right side because it goes through here. I will first create a small hole and I will make it into the upper part. So once I make the bigger hole then I will cut the upper part as well. Drill. doesn't cut my finger and it won't cut the cable either. <clears throat> now we are back in this uh, back part. I have arranged these cables, so HDMI, network and USB. So now I'll put back the back panel. I'll have to reconnect these little shits here. And I'm guessing this is ground and this one safety yeah All right and also don't forget to plug in the fan the magic part let's see if these cables fit uh, it's very important that these are able to move and mine can move back and forth so now I just put the screws back in so I have lost two screws somewhere one of the screws had flown into the other dimension, so it took me a while to find. And now it's time to see if we can fit our computer in there. Here we go. Further. All right, we have to do is hook this one up. The 3.0 is the upper port on the Orange Pi 5. And then we also have the HDMI cable. And now, all we have to do is pull back on these cables here and slide this thing in here. You might be asking, why the hell didn't you just buy a NAS, right? I could buy a NAS. Well, this Orange Pi single board computer has 16 gigs of RAM and 8 cores of CPU and it has HDMI 2.0 which means that it's good for 4K 60 FPS and so forth. So now I can push this in and it will... I have hooked everything up, just wanted to show you how it looks like when I push this in. It uh, gets power and USB gets power and it will detect these drives and uh, yeah, 
already starting to make beautiful colors. In order to not mix up the drives, I have added tiny labels to the inside of these. But I also want to have an LCD screen here. But I ordered a mini uh, less than one inch LCD. It's 128 times 32 pixels and it can be controlled over I2C bus. <laughs> are jamming exactly against this case here so it actually seems to be keeping the screen in place without any any extra glue so now I have finished programming this tiny LCD screen thank you for watching if you like the video press like if you have any questions or you want me to make more content of the Orange Pi 5 or home automation, uh, leave a comment. Have a good day.